Buoy Health Insights, Wrist Pain. Welcome to Buoy Health Insights, where we dive into common health concerns and share expert advice. Today, we are talking about wrist pain, a discomfort that many of you may have experienced. Whether you're dealing with this issue now or you want to be informed for the future, let's explore what causes wrist pain, what other symptoms might accompany it, and when you should seek medical care. Let's begin with a topic that's quite common, contusions of the wrist, or what you might simply call a bruise. This happens when blood vessels under the skin are damaged, usually due to a minor injury, leading to blood pooling and discoloration. To treat a wrist contusion at home, remember RICE rest, ice, compression if necessary, and elevation. If you've injured your wrist and have swelling and noticeable bruising, this approach can help alleviate your symptoms. Another cause of wrist pain many of you may have heard of is carpal tunnel syndrome. It's a condition where there's numbness and pain on the underside of your wrist and hand, stemming from pressure on a nerve in the carpal tunnel passage in your wrist. Common symptoms include numbness, shock-like pain, and hand weakness. Carpal tunnel can worsen over time and potentially cause permanent damage, so it's essential to get medical advice if you're concerned about this. Treatments can range from rest and wrist splints to more invasive options like steroid injections or surgery. For our younger viewers or parents out there, buckle fracture of the distal radius is a type of wrist fracture common in children due to their bones being more flexible. It's usually caused by a force like a fall onto an outstretched hand. If your child has constant forearm pain and swelling after an injury, it's important they see a doctor within 24 hours. Treatment typically involves a period in a cast to ensure proper healing. If you're experiencing mild wrist pain, there are at-home treatments you can try before consulting a doctor. Over-the-counter pain relievers such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen can reduce inflammation and pain. Using a wrist brace and optimizing the ergonomics of your workspace are also helpful strategies. Heat or ice packs and pain creams are other options to manage discomfort at home. However, sometimes the pain may persist despite these remedies, and that's when you should see a doctor. They may recommend treatments like steroid injections, casting for fractures, aspiration to remove fluid from a cyst, or even surgical options if necessary. Now, in some cases, wrist pain can be an emergency. Seek immediate medical care if your joint is warm, red, or swollen, you experience sudden weakness, severe pain, or if your wrist looks deformed or is extremely cold after an injury. Before we wrap up, let's address some frequently asked questions. Carpal tunnel typically feels like numbness and tingling in the thumb and first three fingers, sometimes accompanied by a burning sensation. Wrists can hurt due to trauma or repetitive motions, like typing or playing certain sports. Arthritis in the hand causes swelling due to wear and tear or an immune response. Swollen wrists can be caused by fractures or less commonly by certain types of arthritis or even gout. If you're experiencing wrist pain and aren't sure of the cause, try the Phelan's Maneuver by pushing the backs of your hands together for one minute. If you feel numbness or tingling, it may indicate carpal tunnel syndrome. Alternatively, if there's pain when tapping on your inner wrist, you might need to consult a healthcare professional. Every case of wrist pain is unique and it always helps to get personalized advice. If in doubt, it's always wise to consult a healthcare professional who can guide you based on your specific situation. We hope this deep dive into wrist pain has been informative. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on various health topics. Stay informed, stay healthy, 